you missed it, in about two weeks, I am moving. I am going to be starting my solo living era. Moving always is a lot of work. Quite literally packing up everything you own, shoving it into boxes, and doing a lot of heavy labor. I'm someone who constantly enjoys to declutter, organize, and get rid of things and donate things that I no longer use. In the almost four years that I have lived in this apartment, I have acquired a lot of clothes, some of which came from my parents' house when I moved out. Out. It's a lot of like high school, college clothes that I know for a fact definitely don't fit me anymore. Not only am I going to be decluttering and organizing the space around me to just get rid of stuff that I don't need to take with me on my move, but it's time to go through my clothes because it's been something that I have put on the back burner for a long time. I'm gonna go through my clothes, try things on. All right, I'm starting with the far left bottom part of my closet here. First of all, I couldn't even tell you the last time I wore this. Babes, this is an infinity scarf. What in the 2014? I'm like being, I'm being like teleported back to 2014. I just need a pencil skirt and knee high boots. And oh wait, I should do a side part. Oh my God, I, this is literally what I looked like in 2014, you guys. This is how I pose in every picture. I probably haven't worn this scarf in a solid 10 years. So I'm gonna say we're gonna get rid of this, but it's taking up space in my closet. I don't wear it and I haven't worn it. Goodbye. Okay, this is another black infinity scarf. Babe, she has gone through it. She still smells like the Victoria's Secret body spray that I wore when I was like 17. Those were the days. This just is not who I am anymore. We're gonna get rid of the black infinity scarf. Again, haven't worn it in 10 plus years, taking up space. It no longer serves me. Next up, we have a little category of shirts I like to call things I wanted to wear on job interviews. This is when I graduated college and had a little shopping spree. I need some professional attire. I bought a bunch of random tops and I don't think I've worn them since. So let's try them on. I wanted to record this part because this is uh, the truth. <laughs> All right. I look like um, a football player who's like putting on their old jersey. Ugh! Put me in coach. I have like a uniboober now. It actually kind of fits down here. This is not the problem area, which usually this is my problem area. The thing is my boobs had a huge growth spurt in the last few years. So it's not that it's here, it's the, it's the girls. So this is definitely a giveaway. This is definitely the no pile. Next up in the work attire category, we have this guy. Love a green moment. Funny thing is, she still has the tag from Marshalls, meaning I have never worn it. So let's see, I have a feeling it's gonna be the same thing. Imagine I roll up to the job interview like this. She's cute, it's really sad, but guess what? I outgrew it and that's okay. And we're gonna Get rid of it. Yet another shirt from the interview series. This is giving maternity. This is giving middle-aged secretary. She's a it's actually not, well, you know, I said secretary, but this is kind of giving meteorologist. So for today's forecast, we have high winds coming in from the west. They are coming in, they are pulling in a nice warm breeze. So have fun on your weekend. As you can see, the seven day forecast, we're gonna have a little bit of rain coming in on your weekend, but don't fret. By Monday, as you can see right here, it's going to be nice and dry. Make sure you grab your umbrella for the weekend. Don't worry, you're gonna need that sunscreen on your Monday. Back to you, Jeff. Goodbye, shirt. Is this gingham? Is that what they call gingham? It's giving when Kayla had an A cup. Um, one deep breath and I'm popping out of it. So, see ya. Another shirt from the collection of shirts I bought and have never taken the tag off because I've never worn it. Here's the thing, does it fit? Yes, is it kind of cute? Yes, is it my style? No. Am I gonna probably ever wear this? Also, no. Clearly, as by told with the tag on the back, um, who knows when I bought this. The next category we have short sleeve t-shirts. This one is a keep, it's just a black crop top. I wear it very frequently. I wear it to work out in a lot. I wear it just like in the summertime. This one definitely is a keep. This is an oversized t-shirt I literally just purchased from H&M like a month ago, so I'm keeping it. It's also very cute. All right, this, this is a queen t-shirt. It has like weird rolled sleeves. Let me try this on. It's okay, I guess. It's kind of like a baby doll tee, that's like the point. I'm gonna go with get rid of because even putting it on, I don't love it. I don't like baby doll style tees on me. I don't know why I actually even bought this. Just a plain gray t-shirt. I feel like having at least one is appropriate. I'm a little bit of a souvenir freak when it comes to traveling. I really should just get like little like magnets for my fridge, but I also like to get t-shirts. This is when I went to Nashville. I'm gonna be honest, we're gonna get rid of this one. Nashville did not impress me. I'm not a country gal. It was so crowded and obnoxious. I had a great trip when I went, but like 
Nashville is not for me. I would never want to go back if someone invited me unless I was going to like see Taylor Swift or something in concert. I would die if I had a bachelorette party there. If it was my bachelorette party, I would support a fellow friend and go. But if I had my own there, I would be like, absolutely not. Nashville did not impress me. I don't really care about it that much. So the shirt doesn't really matter. We're gonna get rid of that. But I am gonna keep my London shirt. I love London. This is definitely like, I got this shirt probably at more of like a, a skeevy souvenir shop. So it's, I think like the logo is crooked. I don't know if you can see that. The logo's a bit crooked. So transitioning this out of my closet, we're gonna throw this to like a sleep shirt. This is another H&M graphic tee. It has like that worn t-shirt material. I wear this all the time. It's in so many videos. It's a very comfy oversized tee. It's quite literally one of my favorites. So it's a keep. This again, sentimental value. This is my um, love me, don't retouch me airy shirt. I have had this since 2014, um, back when like airy began their airy real story. And when they made the pledge to stop photoshopping their models and just keep it airy real. And this shirt may not fit me perfectly, but now that I'm an airy ambassador, this shirt means more to me than ever. And for that, I'm gonna keep it. This is a little graphic tee that I got at Target, I think last year, this time spring. I like the color, the flowers. Also it's artsy, it's Vincent Van Gogh. So this is a keep for sure. This is something again, I bought last summer. So I'm not ready to part with this. I like it a lot. It's just like a little linen cropped short sleeve button up thing. I like it. You can wear it by itself buttoned up. I can wear it over something. It's great for spring and summer. I like this a lot. So I'm keeping that. We have yet another neutral tee from h and I'm gonna keep this. Oh, so many memories in this shirt right here. Again, we have a boob situation. It's too tight up here. This shirt has served its purpose in my closet. We've gotten our money's worth out of it. Time to give it to somebody else. This is a shirt that I got from Etsy. This is a Harry Styles Treat People With Kindness t-shirt. Shout out to whatever Etsy seller, you did an amazing job. I loved this shirt a lot. However, every time I wear it, I like remember how much I don't look good in this color of yellow. And therefore I have not worn this shirt in probably like a year or two. So it'll probably be on my Poshmark though if anyone wants to buy it. This is another Etsy shirt. This is a Christmas gift from my mom a few years ago. It was on my Christmas wish list. I do love it. I'm keeping it. These are three of probably my favorite Aries shirts. These two are actually from like two or three years ago, but they're just like basic, like again, like long plain colored t-shirts. It's kind of my vibe is like the plain. This is one that I got last year. This is another like art inspired shirt. They've been great staple shirts. So I'm gonna keep all three of these. This is the last of the summer slash warm weather stuff. If you wanna know how long I've had this top specifically, um, it's the Massimo brand from Target that no longer exists. It's kind of like a odd length though. Time to get rid of her. It's cute. It does not match my style anymore. It kind of has like a modified peplum look going on here. Not really um, my style. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the get rid of pile. It's just not for me anymore. These are two little Amazon tank tops. I love these a lot. They have come in handy. I do have, have these on my Amazon storefront. They've been like very great go-to little staple tank tops for the summer. You can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with jeans. You can layer them in the fall. These are great. I like the neutral colors. They are, they go with anything. So we're gonna keep both of these. These are two more Amazon shirts. I wore this one in like the spring summer try on haul. Like when I was trying different Amazon clothes for the spring and summer. Love this a lot. Very flattering. I think I have it in a royal blue, which we'll get there. Love it a lot. Wore it all last year and I plan on wearing it this year. So it's a keep. And another Amazon bodysuit. It's the same brand as the white one, just in, it's coming off very orange on camera, but in person, it's definitely more of like a darker rust. It's not as orange as it's showing on camera, but it's a keep. Oh gosh. I have had this for so long. It was something that I thrifted. It was another Goodwill find. Again, just no longer my style. And again, I have not worn this in several summers. So it's time for someone else to have their summer turtleneck moment. So we're gonna get rid of this one. One of my favorite bodysuits of all time is this emerald green shimmery shiny one. I love it. She's amazing. She's everything iconic or keeping. We have three of kind of like the same tops going on here. Now, old Kayla would be like, oh my gosh, they're like three different shades of green, keep them all. But I cannot justify three of the same thing. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of this one because I have so many already like this and I like this green the least. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna move this to like a sleep top. I do not I do not wear patterns like this anymore. It's cute, but it's not, it's not for me anymore. So goodbye. Can you tell I have like a specific style of tops that are like my safe summer tops? So this is the, uh, brown one that I showed earlier, same thing in the royal blue, keeping that. This, oh gosh, this is another um, Amazon tank top. 
keeping this love it i think those are great staples all right this was a top i got a while ago at tj maxx i went through like a little spaghetti shop era thinking i would wear cute things like this first of all i'm not a pink girl you can tell by all the clothes I just went through. Did you see any pink clothing? The correct answer is no. It's not my style anymore. I don't know if it ever was my style. Okay, that's all I have energy for right now. I need to go through my hangers, which by the way, I have so many now, like so many hangers that came out of the woodwork. So I'm going to organize my short sleeve shirts, put them on hangers, get rid of the hangers and hang everything back up. And then probably tomorrow or something, I will film my long sleeve shirts. So I'll see you in a minute. For me, it's gonna be a few days, but I will catch up with you when I do my long sleeve stuff. Hello, I'm back. Another day, another sleigh, another time to go through my closet. Starting off strong with some jackets and blazers. One of my favorite trench coats that I own. This is actually one of my favorite coats that I own. Nice and long, very cozy. This is obviously a keep. You know, it does have pockets, so that's a win. I do like it, and I think for that, I'm gonna keep it. H&M always has really good blazers. Yeah, this is still a keep. I still love this. I'm gonna keep this. I like a little fun blazer. And lastly, a classic black blazer, which I think is a staple. I already know I'm keeping this because I love it. I feel like every woman should just own a black blazer. Again, dress it up, dress it down. If you have a job interview, you can wear it there too. The lac blazer is a classic, and for that, she's a keep. This is like a nice quilted jacket. It's very cozy, very fall-esque. I love this color a lot. It's actually from Aerie from their fall collection, fall 2022. So she's relatively new to the closet. We haven't given her enough chance to be worn enough. So definitely a keep. This one I bought last fall, 2022. And I never really tried it on. I think this is a little too oversized. I'll probably end up putting this on my Poshmark if anyone is interested in it. I'm sure it'll look cute on somebody. It's just, I don't think it's for me. Ladies and gentlemen, my best thrift find of all time, an authentic vintage leather jacket. I'm trying it on just for the flex because I already know that I'm keeping this. The fact that I got it for $10 and the fact that it fits me like a glove, but I love this jacket more than anything. Again, to me, like a blue jean jacket, I think is like a staple. I also kind of feel the same about a black jacket. Although, is this one still giving? I don't know. I don't know if I like this anymore. I don't think this is for me anymore. Someone else is gonna get her. Um, Still not ready to give this up though. I do love a blue jean jacket. Um, Again, I think these are in a way timeless. They have their moments where they're like really cute and trendy and other times they're not. And again, like I don't really care about the trends. I'll wear this whenever I want, even if it's like quote unquote, like out of fashion or whatever. I just think a blue jean jacket is a classic, classic staple. So I'm at least gonna keep this one, but we'll say goodbye to the black jean jacket. I have it in green as well. And I love them both. I'm keeping both of them, but we haven't gotten to the green yet. Um, just like a nice oversized V-neck kind of top. It's very, comfortable and soft and again this is like enough of a v-neck to where i don't feel weird in it because it kind of just sits nicely i just don't like the really deep cut personally on me i've worn this in a couple of vlogs i do like it it makes me look like a cartoon character burglar but i do like the vertical stripes the black and white it's cropped it's lightweight perfect for intro to fall this is a keep somehow i have acquired not one but two amazon essentials men's white button-ups i don't know how this was a recent find last winter on h&m can you believe it honestly their silk i don't think this is real silk but their silk button-ups are incredible i actually wore this out on my 27th birthday this past December. I have a picture in it and I looked super cute. I wore a black bodysuit and then I wore this over it because yeah, my birthday was in December, but it wasn't super cold that night. So I wore this as like a little like over the shoulder unbuttoned kind of moment. So this is definitely, definitely a keep. This is definitely very therapeutic in a way because there was a time in my life where, well, you know, an ongoing struggle with my body and how I see myself and how I feel about myself in certain clothing and there was a time in my life where I just didn't want to touch any of my clothing or try it on or go through it because it would be a really bad trigger for me just to understand that like I have either gained weight or lost weight or I grew or I shrunk and it was just like a really hard time for me and clothing is always one of those things that is a representation of your body and how 
your body looks in something and the size of your body so that was always like a really hard thing for me so dressing rooms trying clothes on back to school shopping like used to be an absolute nightmare for me which is why I wore a lot of the same things all the time like a cartoon character because I just didn't like to venture out and try things on and I definitely feel like now as an adult in my late 20s like I've my style has evolved my confidence has evolved like there's so much stuff now in my adult closet that I would have never imagined wearing when I was in high school, like really, really struggling with my self-confidence. So I love that this is almost like a therapeutic exercise in a way for me to like realize that it's okay for your body to change. You can get rid of things that don't serve you anymore. And then you can also go shopping for things that you love that fit your body now. And it's not worth hanging on to things that don't fit you and probably won't fit you for a while and holding on to it because you think you'll lose 10, 20 pounds by next summer, but like I'll fit into these jeans again one day. Like it's okay to just get rid of the jeans and then just buy new jeans if you have to. I get that we're trying to reduce that carbon footprint and like we wanna reduce, reuse, recycle, but like donate them to somebody else. Let them have a second use. The stuff that you see me getting rid of in this video is not just going in the trash. Like it's going to get another use, which I do feel better about, but I'm also not gonna hold on to stuff that makes me feel like crap because it doesn't fit me anymore or I don't like it on myself anymore. So it's all good to change and evolve as your style does, as your body does. And it's okay to spend a little money to get clothes that fit you and make you feel good about yourself. So just FYI. Anyways, moving on. This is a cardigan that I have. It's cute, but cardigans, I have had this ongoing love-hate relationship with cardigans. I have never truly loved the way that they looked on me. I just, it's a personal preference. I don't love them. White sweater galore. Can you tell I have a favorite? These two though are definitely a keep. This one I really like, very soft. This is a nice little turtleneck. I got this from American Eagle last year. It has like the cable knit. One solid cable knit is acceptable. My closet used to be full of hundreds of cable knits at one point and I really had to like chill out because no one needs that many cable knits in their life. Okay, so this is kind of like a cropped ish sweater and I say cropped because I have a short torso so it actually fits me perfectly that I've had for a very 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 long time it's kind of see-through like it's a little cable knit see-through kind of moment the sleeves have definitely been worn out I think it's time to retire this she definitely had her run this one we're gonna say goodbye to then of course we have the infamous airy waffle knit matching set this is the sweater quarter zip and I have the matching pants 100% a keep, not even a debate. Imagine me getting rid of this. I'm gonna be like 95 years old, still owning this thing. This won't even ever make it to a thrift store because I'll be damned. I will keep this for the rest of my life. If there's one thing you need to know about me, so I love a turtleneck or a mock neck. This is a keep. It's like one of my favorite fall sweaters. Love it, keeping it. All right, next up, this is just a classic little sweatshirt. Got this from Old Navy, I, no, Target. This is from Target. What's not to love? It's just a plain, light brown, cozy. I like travel a lot in this. It's just like very comfortable, casual. I like it, has a cute fit. Needless to say, I'm keeping it. Here's my next issue and I need your help. I loved this sweater so much this like cozy, chunky, cable-ish knit sweater from American Eagle a few years ago so much. Not only did I buy it once, but I bought it twice. Oh, not only twice, but three times. I have a problem. This is unnecessary. My goal is to keep one. I know that's a bold statement, but I just want, I wanna keep one. I'm gonna need you guys' help, let me know. Which one should I keep? The green, the blue, the navy blue, or the brown? Comment below because I am not sure yet. These are the last of long sleeve stuff that I have in my closet. So if that tells you how much color I like to wear, this is it right here. Cause everything else was neutral. White, black, beige, tan, gray. This is it right here for my colors. These I got from Airy over their last fall drop. These were their Lumberjane, <gasps> deja vu. Why am I like this? Seriously, why am I like this? Do we see a trend? Guess my comfort colors. Like for real? This is insane. I have a problem. They're the most comfortable button up lounge 
pieces of apparel I own. So of course I got a navy and a, and a green. I am keeping both of these. I am so sorry, they are so comfortable. I will allow this. And again, my like one colorful option in my closet. This was a most recent purchase from Aries, most recent spring drop. It is truly the most comfortable and cozy sweater of all time. It's kind of like a cable knit situation going on. It's oversized, it has balloon sleeves. I feel like I'm just like in a little comfortable cloud. Um, it's amazing. So about half of this stuff I'm going to link on my Poshmark. So if you guys are interested, feel free to check it out, buy it, I will send it to you. Um, my Poshmark will be linked in the description of this video. And the other half of this stuff I'm going to either donate to like Goodwill or a women's shelter so it gets used and someone else can have um, some really comfortable, cute clothing that just no longer serves me. As always, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here and stay tuned for more moving and organizing and cleaning and moving stuff coming up shortly because moving vlogs are coming in very shortly because I move in literally a week. Go easy on yourself and I'll see you in the next video.